Bafkan versus World Peacekeepers coming up after this. Okay, I kind of tricked you because I want to try this stuff on Max Steel. I am going to also try it on the Buff Ken. Basically, if it fits on the Buff Ken, it's going to fit on uh, Max Steel as well. Or if it's going to fit on Max Steel, it's going to fit on Buff Ken. This is an older World Peacekeepers. I'm going to use either this Hunter Huntsman on that Buff body. On this, this is on this body. I'm going to try it on him. And uh, I have to. This is th this is the I don't know. Maybe this is more me me now that I have a beard. But I, I really like I like this. But however, his head is too big to try on all the things. However, I really what I've been using the most because there's more heads available. At least ones that I want to use. I've been using the Max Steel body like these. This is World Peacekeepers on a Max Steel body with a Hasbro G.I. Joe head. That's that's quite a mashup. World Peacekeeper clothes though. That's that's what we're excited to see in here. These are some of my favorites. I guess let's uh well come on. Ken for the movie. Maybe we'll take Ken out. This guy does look like he belongs in the military. But hey, it's Ken's moment right now. Let's uh, let's use him. And like I said, I'm going to try everything on, and we're gonna look at all this awesome stuff on the Max Steel body and the new buff body looks. Barbie cannot wait to get this in more skin tones. Hope we get a really really dark complexed one and uh, a white pale one. Check out this set. Okay, so before World Peacekeeper something, it is from mctoy.com.hk. Uh, that is where you can go and buy some really cool uh, army accessories, and uh, they have other things like this. Click and Play in the States is available on Amazon, and that is where I got this set. Click and play stuff is not available on Amazon Canada, unfortunately. However, this I just got at some a discount bookstore for twenty dollars. I'm excited to have that. I was thinking about opening up this. It is taking up the most space, but this one is the oldest. So same font, the Peace Force. World Peacekeepers. I just think this is old. I found this at a thrift store, and I found this at the same thrift store at a different time, like months later. This was wrapped in plastic brand new. So I don't know what person is donating, or I seem to find new World Peacekeeper, or this could have been the Walmart stuff, too. Anyway, that is a really old-fashioned head sculpt. I like that, even though the lips on it are kind of weird. And then this one is really cool. Look at all those accessories. I made my own barrel set of tin cans. Maybe these are going to have to replace them. This is slightly open. And I have done this video before. I guess I've never done it with a buff can. So let's look at this old propaganda. So this kind of looks like it was opened, but not completely opened. Oh, there's a good, there's some good stuff in here. They seem to use the same the same sculpts and stuff, however old this was. So if you've been following Chat May for some time, wait, not Chat May, that's that's the Walmart stuff. If you MC let's just call it click and play. They have world peacekeepers for some time. Look at this. Oh wow. They had like a playset. Okay, look at that diorama. That would have been so cool. Can you imagine Barbie in that? Oh, now, now this is my uh, this is my goal to find the battle command post. Check out that. It's a kind of like this Mexican feel to it. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, or maybe colonial. I don't know. It's awesome. 
And then look at these vehicles. Oh, the motorcycle would be so cool to have. Uh, the Jeep, of course, would be so cool to have. Jeep is my favorite thing. Uh, horse we got. The horse is so big. Barrels. Oh, this is this is fun. Just looking at Power Team Elite World Peacekeepers figures. Oh, they kind of called it World Peacekeepers back then too. Check those out. I do have to re go through. I do keep all my World Peacekeeper stuff together. It's really it hurts me to mix brands together. I don't know why. It's I guess it's a kind of an OCD thing. But look at all the stuff in here. I have to stop worrying about that. And I have. Like, I, I showed you that Hasbro Mattel World Peacekeepers mashup that I, I like to keep. That G.I. Joe just the way it is. But here is a barrel. So good for dioramas. Uh, love it. Just something for Ken to sit on. This is a made-to-move max steel body. Kind of a rarer body, but I managed to have a few of them. I am going to show you my whole max steel collection and the heads that I have chosen recently to stick on these bodies because uh, I, I like it, but that barrel is going to cause us lots and lots of good times and lots of fun and lots of great pictures. Uh, put it in the gym, of course, and army green is one of my favorite colors. If uh, <laughs> the only color that I, I actually like wearing. I mean, I like wearing pink. I have to admit I like wearing pink. But I li I'm a black, gray, white kind of guy and army green and pink. Those are the colors that I like wearing. Uh, that barrel is amazing, and there's two of them. That's so good to do a... That's fun because I, I did make my own barrels. Like a stag a staggered effect like that in a diorama. So good. Love it. Okay, and then... I guess these twist ties are opening pretty quickly. Bear with me. This, this is... A full-on unboxing. Is it ASMR? I don't know. This I'm not gonna unwrap this foam pad because it's so nice the way it is. I don't. I might want to move the straps in a little bit though. I don't know. Maybe I'll open. It. That seems a little bit too dangerous. I wonder why they put it so close to the ends. Is that a military way to do that? Just to be, make it a little bit secure. But look at those little buckle details. I kind of don't want to mess with this, but it's probably going to be a great foam mattress. I actually have one of these that came with a bed playset. I will link that. Yeah, because that's the best, probably the best World Peacekeepers video I've done. And probably the last one I did. So I will link the whole bunk bed locker. I, guess, I, I, I don't know what, I don't remember what it was called, but it was, it was pretty cool. I have also ordered, like you can go on and order little things from World Peacekeepers. And I did that once too. I just went on to the website that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And uh, you can put little things in your cart, and shipping isn't very much. And you wait for it to come from China, and all these little tiny accessories if you want to do it that way. And probably, arguably cheaper. No, it is cheaper to find the sets. I don't know if they still have them at... Oh, I don't remember the store, but every time I went to the States, I used to go to the store. The Dollar General? at the Dollar General. I, I totally forget now, but there's one little discount store in the United States that used to carry these. I think I've heard that they don't carry them anymore. Should I get onto the outfit? The outfit we should do first. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this box out and then we're gonna take him out. We'll take a break from the little things, but we are going to look at all the little things. We are going to try it on the two different types of bodies. This crate. I don't know about if I like these strings. They're kind of dinky. I guess I could always tuck them inside the box. 
but I might just cut those out completely because they don't look legit. But this crate, come on, this is a great little diorama piece. I mean, there are missiles inside of it. Again, <laughs> kind of cool. I don't believe in war. I believe in using military stuff for the powers of good, that being like fashion. But this is a pretty sweet little crate thing to have for the dioramas, something to sit on in different positions. Could he sit on that? He could balance himself on the edge of that. I really like these max steel bodies. Yes, the hands are too big on them. Yes, he's got a robot wrist. They're just ridiculously muscular and, uh, I don't know. They, I guess it's like playing with He-Man Barbie. So, I love them. And their official Mattel made to move bodies that existed in the, I guess, the early 2000s is when they were invented. Maybe the early, the late 90s. Can I look at the back of the thing? It says 1998, I believe, on the back of his drawers. That's when that body was made. Yeah, that crate looking good. Look at this scene in the background with all these things. Let's try one of these outfits on him and the look stall. So we got this guy. His dog tags are too big. Uh, they later did a really good job with the dog tags. They made them smaller. Can you see that in here? Oh yeah. You can see the G.I. Joe has made them unrealistically proportioned like these ones and maybe that is what they copied in the beginning I guess it's cool to have the dog tags in both sizes but it's just a silly oversized dog tag that doesn't look realistic maybe it's something that a fashion doll can wear and uh, as some kind of commentary on on army, but yeah, that's oversized. You know how Barbie Extra has oversized stuff. Maybe one of the girls can wear this, and then they have this oversized dog tags to be ironic. But that does say stuff on them. Power team, maybe Chat May. Power Team, I believe, is the brand that was at Walmart. Look, it's kind of tarnished from being so old. And in this box, what did I drop on the floor? Hopefully it was just, it wasn't anything great. It wasn't anything from the set that we didn't look like. Uh, like, insane army issue, gun, crazy, it's... I don't even know what this gun is. It's it's insane. It's huge. It's so cool. Uh, they have the, have the same size hands. This is why it's so good for the Max Steel on the bodies because Ken can hold that gun perfectly. And then some desert boots. This is a whole desert camo thing. I mean, oh, look at this. We've got this backpack holster. Well, it's attached to an actual holster. Oh, can you unclip this or you have to unstrap it? You have to unstrap it from his leg. And then, I mean, come on, army green. It, lo it feels just like straps from a real army bag. Now, the gun holster, do we have a handgun? Oh yeah, we got a handgun. I really want to get an official Max Steel handgun. I don't seem to get them. I usually get them thrifted. So, oh, that strap fell out. Am I going to know how to put it back in? I don't know which direction it came in. Maybe I'll, wa I'll watch this back to figure out. I guess it doesn't really matter. But holster for the gun that we haven't taken to the package yet. But this, can you imagine how cool... This is going to look on shirtless. 
I wonder if they, I wonder if this is enough shirt to walk into a store with. So some of them are buckles, some of them are clips. Do you think that I could get away with like just walking into it? Is not enough of a shirt? It's uh, kind of loose, but I guess once you get a jacket on and everything, then it fits. But cool, there's no way to adjust this, unfortunately. That would have been better. I think it goes with the backpack, which I guess will. I'll have to. I'll have to. Oh no, we can't run into that. I'll take out the backpack right now because I'm gonna see how that can attach. Oh, there's there's fingerless gloves or something in here. That's that's really cool. I don't know. I do not know how you are supposed to put this on. Hmm. Oh, yes I do. That backpack doesn't attach to that. This is just this kind of holster. We've got a whole a whole other thing. Am I dropping? other toys. We get a whole other backpack that comes with that. Oh this is this is this is this is a great set. Okay, desert boots. They have no slits up the back or anything. They do look kind of thin and narrow, but you know, what are you gonna do? Ugh. Ugh. They are hard to get off. I do prefer to use other boots. The boots aren't the best design, I think because they look too thin, but maybe that's, maybe that's also realistic. Ugh. I'll have to, in another video, I'll have to show you, I have shown this before, but the ankles on the articulated, the super articulated, the made to move Max Steels are such a better design than the ankles on the not so articulated. I think these have, yeah, the, the Max Steel, other Max Steel ankles look more like this and don't look as realistic. But these bodies are okay. I don't seem to love them though. I mean, he's got a scuff on his nose. I'm pretty sure that's gonna wipe off. That is what the face looks like. So, ultra realistic, not as handsome as a Ken doll or other regular dolls. I guess, I mean, this is, he looks like a real man. So I should uh, not say anything bad about that. It's a real person. And then, unlike in real life, he is shirtless underneath his jacket, but I guess you can't expect them to give you an extra t-shirt or anything. And then the skin tone match on the heads. I don't know if it's because of a time thing, but we've got snaps. I know that most doll collectors are going to like that. Actually, army wear, it's common to have fasteners with Velcro, so... But snaps are okay. Uh, sometimes they get, it makes things more bulky and that's why I don't really like them. But the uh, craftsmanship is pretty good on these. I've noticed uh, more recent World Peacekeeper stuff seems to be better quality. I do like how thin this is though. Uh, scaled down, it makes it more realistic. It should be thin. Doll clothes should be as thin as possible. It's kind of translucent. I can see through the light. But a cool little desert jacket is going to look awesome. Even as a fashion piece. I do like to wear brown. I didn't say that. I, yeah. I don't. I want to wear brown, but I usually just wear black and gray and white. But K 
can. Check this out. It makes uh, a good shirt just by itself. You can mix and match that. It's got a little green, a little brown, a little beige. Keep it open to show his physique. Yeah, it looks really good on him. And then I won't make you wait very long. And I'll put it on the buff body and you can see how that fits. Because I assume most of the people want to see that. So Hunter, Huntsman, that's what this head sculpt is from Ever After High. It's a great hairdo. This is the hairdo that I currently have. Can't say that it's not inspired by his hair. Barbie Ken Blue. It's, it, it's, it's doable. You could roll up these sleeves maybe. And uh, for like, you know, it's, he's, it's at a campsite, a campfire. And it's a still summertime, but uh, he's just, you know, it's just a little chilly. So he's got his, uh, uh, even that outfit looks good. That's really cool. And then the pants on the buff body. Oh, could have taken off his shorts. I'm sure it would have worked with it on the two materials on these shorts that came with a Ken set that I most recently opened. Check out that video too. These are the, they're like the same material. The two polyesters are very, very similar. Cotton look polyesters. I'm pretty sure there's no cotton in them. They just do really mimic cotton. which I'm an all-natural cotton kind of guy. And uh, the pants fit on the buff body like a glove. It is like the perfect waist size. They fall in exactly the right place. They uh, are even long enough. They're going to be a bit longer on Max Steel with boots. Yeah, I can't see... Uh, I mean, you could wear this with sneakers. I like a high top sneaker anyway. Should I try these boots on? Yeah, I guess you'd want me to do that. Uh, yeah, so even the boots fit on the buff can. You gotta love that. Now I gotta see if these pants fit on. Can I take these off without breaking anything? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Undo the snaps. That's so cool. Everything in here is so cool. And it's going to look good with your... It's going to look good with pink. Pink and green are compliments. So with all your Barbie core stuff, you can mix this stuff in. And it'll look real, really good. Okay. I guess I could have kept the shirt on him. We already know. Buttons go in the front. We also love that. Where pants fasten. Where they should fasten in real life. And, uh... Again, the waist is perfect. His waist is a bit funny because of the way that it's molded. I mean, it's great for the articulation. But um, you put these pants up a little bit higher, uh, they fit him even better. I like a longer pant, so this is just a personal preference. A lot of people like shorter pants. I, I like puddling at my pant bottoms and stuff. And uh, yeah, so Max is a little bit shorter. I would say that, oh wow, he's a lot shorter. Oh, it's hard. it's hard to say with that head. That head is huge. I'd say that this is a 6'1 guy, and uh, Ken is a 5'10 short king, but it doesn't matter. 
so good. Yeah, these pants look great. And should I put the boots on them? I know the boots. I don't want to put the boots on them. I wish I had a pair of sneakers here. Hot Wheels skate sneakers. I would normally put on with him. Oh, well, here we go. Here are some Dexter Charming sneakers. And I like how chunky these ones are. So Ever After High sneakers. Just to show you what that would look. Again, Kencore in a casual kind of look. Kind of big on Max. I guess because they are so long. Definitely fit better on the buffkin though. Okay, what else do we got? Here, let me put this shirt back on. Here we go, a whole desert storm outfit. I like that I rolled up those sleeves. It looks kind of good, but let me roll those down so you can see the full effect here. I'm going to snap, snap these snaps on. The uh, proportions of the Mac Steel and these, hey, this looks more like the new Masters of the Universe body that they have, but there's some great articulation on these dolls. Like more, oh no, just forward. I don't, I like when the knee twists and bends. That doesn't happen with this or some of the standard Mac Steels. They don't have as much articulation. But this is a very, very cool a swoople here at the bicep, which is kind of kind of useful, but not very common today. It is with action figures. Again, the head doesn't match. He's got a little blotch in his nose from the packaging. I'm pretty sure that's going to wipe off. I know it's going to wipe off. Uh, but I do just usually, whenever I open these, I do just take the body... I think this might be different. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to compare that in a later video than the other World Peacekeeper bodies. I might have changed it a bit. Uh, the weird skin color is weird. Uh, the abs, it's kind of robotic. Kind of, it's kind of cool. I kind of like the skin color is kind of cool too. But does it? It stands the same height again. Better to show you with someone who has the same again the buff guy's really tall do i have a normal ken not here we can look into that another time i think that the buff body is a bit bigger all around i think it's taller too i'll have to confirm that i'm sure i confirmed it in another video i just forget but yeah that's the differences between the bodies let's look at more of this stuff here It's got to be a glove. They do show them as gloves there. I don't think I showed you the back of this package. All of these sets would have been great to have. That parachute, oh, I would have loved to have that. I don't think all of these things they make anymore. But this is a glove. I don't know. I really thought it wasn't because it's so tight and the hands these hands are actually smaller on the max steel but I mean that would look so cool on I kind of want to do it but I don't think it's stretchy enough where is the thumb hole and there isn't a thumb hole or is it right at the tip oh man this is this is insanely tight if this is actually real 
I think I think it could be done, but I don't think I can do it. I should at least come up this close. Oh yeah, okay, it's, oh, there's, there's, there's more stretch than I thought. And then, oh, makes for great YouTube, huh? It'd be just so good to have. Stretchy fingerless gloves on one of my characters all the time. I put it on one of the ninjas, maybe. And I think that there's a hole somewhere in that thumb hole. It's just sewn so tight. Oh, no, yeah, there's the hole. The hole's there. I mean, the edges aren't finished. I did it on any of the finger or wrist holes, but it actually looks because of how tight it is. It actually looks pretty good. It's, it would look. I should have put it on the hand with the silver wrist, kind of to disguise it. Yeah, it's kind of upsetting that it's unfinished, but it kind of looks real. Wow, it looks really good on. It might take away from this, the size of his hands, too. Okay, I might never want to take that off. I'm going to take off these shoes, because it's taken away from the outfit. Probably should be just black sneakers or something like that. But there's more great stuff in here, so put this stuff aside and check out this mask. I'll have to put the other glove on at the end of this video. But check out this. I have opened up one of these before. It is just a, a set. How are we gonna, do they have like a scarf or something? I guess you just have to stuff it into the jacket. I think that's the best way. Oh no, here it's got an elastic to wrap around for the neck. So I remember making some some COVID, when COVID just started, some COVID dolls that were dressed like this. But I like this. I mean, it might not make sense having it shirtless, but come on, I am so into it. And that's the doll I should have used for this. Why didn't I think of that? My apocalyptic Ken with vitiligo. But you can see his eyes through the mask, especially if they adjust it properly. I like how so this is kind of a cape. The elastic goes around his neck with both the gloves on. So this is this is a pretty cool outfit. Very Thunderdome. Okay. Yeah, 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 real good. And then here's the here's the other glove. We will put that on later. Get rid of that. Don't go away. There's all kinds of really cool things in here. This toolbox. Well, it's a slanted toolbox. I, uh... I'm kind of a... I, I love this box. I thought I've seen every military style box, but wow, the diagonal. You can even go. Can you go diagonal and diagonal? No, you can't. It doesn't fit. It's a nice snug fit like this. That is nice. Again, something great to put on the shelf or something. Probably put it like that. Storage. Great diorama stuff. 
to there. And then, I guess we want to see saving this packaging or anything. The helmet. Okay, I've had some of the other helmets. I guess in the later years they started covering them in cloth. But this one is a hard shell one. Is he supposed to wear it over his hood? He can wear it over his hood. But I guess we have to take this off and see if it fits on this hairdo because the guy is bald that came with this set. I think that's why that other that other doll I thought probably had better army hair. Oh good, but Ken can wear it back. And his pom pompadour can not get in the way too much. But here, let's let me pull out let me pull out some of these other cans. Apocalyptic can. And uh this guy, he looks like an army guy. Yeah. So the helmet fits on him perfectly because he's got a shorter haircut. And then on traditional Ken. Works pretty good on him, too. I mean, this guy's more traditional Ken. This is my favorite Ken head sculpt, and it is the one that, that Barbie Style uses as Ken, or actually Barbie, the official Barbie Instagram, just Barbie. And Barbie Style has hair, real hair guys and stuff. Okay, there's more stuff. There's so much more stuff in here. We gotta see what this backpack looks like on. Without a shirt. Really twist tie to deed in here. So take that off, take that off, take this off. And, uh, okay, so the straps, it's so funny that the straps aren't adjustable, but they do have a buckle on them, so they go like so, and I mean, you can finesse the different straps around the figure. This is a very camping backpack. And then, wait, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to go forward now. Do I have? I don't think I've got enough room to. And then I'm gonna pull the slack. And then, just in general, black gloves. You could have a, a total, a total ninja look. Just remove the pants. I did just get a black pant, pair of pants that I thrifted that I'm pretty sure are World Peacekeeper or uh, Walmart version. But yeah, that backpack looks awesome. And then if we actually put on uh, this one that is supposed to go on here, it snaps into place. It's gonna weigh it down, make it look more realistic. Oh, that looks so good. Check that out. So good. And then we could do a whole modern camping thing. Because when I go camping, which is rare, or it is nowadays, I need to go camping near a body of water. So the whole time 
I'm just wearing a pair of shorts. And that's it. And I've never had any problems with, you know, you take mosquito precautions and stuff like that. But this would be a very common camping outfit for me to wear. Let me pull up his shorts a bit better. So yeah, this stuff is great for, <laughs> just like me, throwing in a little bit of military thing. Like, I mean, if I found this, I would have this in my home. I would have this barrel in my home. Despite the naturalness that I like and everything else that I like, it's metal, it's made with real materials, and it's in colors that reflect nature. So it really does flit, fit my, my style. This is hunky core. Okay, there's more great stuff. Don't go away. There is a, oh, let's just look at this, a knife. So nice. Does it hold in hand? Is it funny to see Ken with a, a knife? Very nice. Holds very nice in hand. There are more missiles to put into this crate. They fit perfectly in here. Three of them. I don't know what this is. This is a priority because I I don't have a clue. for hanging on your belt. I think, oh, it is a sheath for something. Oh, for the knife, of course. How awesome is that? Oh, it's really awesome. Oh, it fits nice and it's got this extra little hook on the bottom. For hanging more things off of it. That is really, really nice. We could even stick this on the side of this belt right now. Oh, and it's made, it's made so it goes in and it has a clip on it. So it's gonna stay on. I say that quite well once it is in place, or maybe not. It might not be meant to go on this strap. The strap seems a bit wider, but that is the gist. So good. There are some pliers. that don't function. Looks like it has tripod legs. Maybe these aren't players. You know what? I don't think they are. I was wrong. They would show, they show such great detail. This is a stand for a gun. This is, this is so you can get better aim. 
Uh, but not creepy. Not creepy at all. Stabilize your gun on the ground, get a better shot, take someone out. We got the pistol. What did I do with the holster? Did I drop it on the ground? It's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, here it is. Let's uh, put that in here. This is a wrap around the leg. This is a pretty sweet gun too. I guess it's got a a laser on it, maybe. Why can't I get it in here? There, oh, it's a nice tight fit in there. Super nice, and of course, it fits well in the hand, because that's what it's designed for, and since I don't have a max steel handgun, this one is gonna have to do and be used. Ken, yeah, you look good with that gun. And then, last but not least, and also one of the best pieces of outfit that came with this set. Because it's something that I would wear as a shirt, and I think that they did set it up like that. Because there's like a belt loop, a tab, and pin, a hole and peg, but it's kind of big. Maybe you have to wrap it around strategically in different ways, but nonetheless, it makes a great shirt. I don't think there's enough of it to wrap around twice. Probably can figure something out, wrap it around the arm. I mean, the reason why it's so bulky is because you're supposed to have a shirt on with it. I mean, there must be something I can do, but okay, how about we just make it loose, put it super tight. I gotta get a closer up camera. I have been putting my camera low so you could at least see the toys I'm opening instead of my face while I'm opening the toys. But, uh,. I guess that's that's pretty cool on its own like so these are the bullets for this gun though but here we go post-apocalyptic Ken is ready to do his thing see he's also he's got he's like kind of a terminator he's got robot parts robot sneakers Oh yeah, how do these silver sneakers, how would they look with the, the camo pants? Really cool looks. Look, we got lots of, lots of outfits. Like, it comes with so many shirts. What does that does? Okay, and the missiles are the same. I'm going to put the um, glove on at the end of this video. Should I try this glove on this can? Okay, I'll, I'll try it on this can. On, on Dexter. Hunter, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Let's see here. This is a lot stretchier. The bodies really are of the same size. They were the same size clothes.
Ken, uh, Buff Ken, and Max Steel. So if you ever see me making a video putting clothes on Max Steel, you know that they're also going to fit on the Buff Ken. Now this isn't as tight on this hand. The struggle is finding a thumb hole. It's almost harder to put it on. Oh no, this is a very long video. I guess I can start it right here when editing. Hey, did I do it? Did you see me struggle? This glove is easier to put on the bigger hands. But it still does work on, and it looks better also on the bigger Max Steel hands. But it definitely works as a fingerless glove on buff can body. Kind of cool. And mask, helmet, uh, not, not going to work on the big ever after high heads. So much great stuff here. I do have to put What's, what, what are the best things? There's so many great things. Well, I could put the holster on the lag here. Oh yeah. Wait, I never remember which way it goes. Do I do this? I'm not going to attach this to the belt. And I really do have to have the camera that points down so this is more enjoyable for watching. Come on. I don't know if they had that going right through. I don't know what the best way for this is. I really shouldn't dress my dollies on camera. I could edit more. Sometimes I edit. Sometimes there's not time to edit. Sometimes you guys don't even care that I edit. Okay, yeah, there we go. But, I mean, I could also put this strap up here, loop it around here, which is built in to do that. Because how is that going to stay up the leg? Even though he has a very muscular legs. So it would stay up because it's thinner at the top of its leg. And then you can put the gun in there. And of course, the knife fell off. But come on, Ken. Looking real good with all this stuff on. So creepy, so cool, so awesome. So much pressure to do this quickly and right. Yeah, there'll be there'll be a great picture on Instagram, I'm sure. I'll get them dressed up properly. I'll take the time. But so good. Love this. Love all these things. There's way too many great things here.